God, that was a long drive from Redcar. Right, where do you want me? So we're in Redcar, just on the beach with a dog before I leave to Fort William for the World Cup tomorrow. And then I'm away for a long time. I've, I've come back for one night on Sunday night. So I've yeah, been in a new house, got a nice new van. Everything's good really. So looking forward to getting away racing and trying to get some good results with a new team and stuff. Oh, when you look at it today, it's pretty grey, but you, like yesterday it was lovely and it's been really nice like the past few days, but no, it's good. It's quite working class if you like. I think we get a bit of a, a reputation up north, but I love it and uh, people are nice here. We've got the beach, the sea. It's just an all round sound place really. Now, I always wanted to have a bulldog when I was a little kid and then when I was old enough and wise enough and I had my own house, I ended up getting Ruby. You alright? What's up? Yeah, so we're at Hamster Lane. The bike park here is somewhere I've been riding for a lot of years and now we've taken it over and there's lots of young kids here and there's lots of talent coming out of here. It's, it's awesome to see. I think I have 12 pumps at a World Cup. I'll maybe put 13 in just to have a bit more. And in the back I think I run... It's between 14 and 15. One. I was being a bit optimistic with 12 pumps today. It must be the temperature. The first thing I'd ever seen about mountain biking was his video from Champery. When we got together, I asked him on and on and on if I could try it. And for a whole year, he was just like, no, I don't want you to do it, I don't want you to do it. And then in the end, we came here one day, he gave it, and, and I rode down here. You should have seen him. It was as if I was his child. He was running, oh, stop, stop after each corner. Didn't want me to do the jumps. She was one of them motocrossers who didn't really know anything about it, just like the rest of them. Yeah, I introduced her to the to the downhill mountain biking, and I'll be honest, she's take, she's taken to it all herself. Like I haven't given her many pointers or anything, and she's she's really good. Even though we don't have the longest hill, like these top turns are really good fun. Like there is good, you could get them turns in Whistler, right? And get them anywhere. I just love being here. And I got lot, lots of good friends here, and it's a good vibe around. Like the, the riding scene is quite good. There's lots of trails, and I, I just love it here. It's just what it's all I know really. Oh, yeah. Here she is. It's all clean, so you've got to be very careful. Valeted. Yeah. <laughs> Fort Williams are 
and have well, there's a bit more pressure, there's a lot of people there and stuff like that, but I'm trying this year just to just to chill with it a little bit and try and treat it like any other World Cup. Just trying to slow it up. <laughs> well, it's always hard with it being the home World Cup and me being one of the top guys from from Great Britain, but it's a good track. I, I enjoy that track. I've done well there quite a lot of times and I'd love to get the win there. Ruby's not coming at the weekend, it's a shame. Isn't it Ruby? It's a shame. But this is the most stressful part of going in it. I'm in the camper van. Making sure you've got it. Oh, half of the stuff isn't mine. To me, like, in my head I don't really feel much different. I go up there and I just ride, but People around me do say I'm a little more nervous and quiet and stuff like that, but it's part of it, isn't it? It's a good thing. It's good that my my friends from home and my family and that go up there to watch the race and and more than just them, there's lots of big good fans up there. So Enjoying it. I'm just trying to not get all uptight and there's not many people get to experience this sort of stuff in their life so to come and do it and try and just have a good time with it and have fun with it and hopefully then that'll bring good results. So. I think people know like Fort Williams the tourist for being the best World Cup on the circuit anyway and being British and Having it as your home round is like priceless, isn't it? Really, so um, it makes you re really want to do well here and in front of the home fans and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, today was good. It was a bit of a tough one because it started raining at the top, and we weren't 100% prepared for it like we should have been. We didn't have a brolly or we didn't have any blue roll or anything. I had a decent run. I made a little mistake up like right near the top. Lost a bit of time in the pedal, which I just have to dig deep tomorrow in the final. I'm gonna have to call a day on the Simply because I'm getting eaten to death by mid -G's. Get into the camper, mate. We'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. Bye. 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 See you later, mate. Bye. Tell me about Danny this week. Do you think he's uh, think he's ready for it? Like, how's his mindset and stuff? Um, seems to be pretty good this year. Best I've ever seen him. Really? Yeah, not really, really relaxed, but a relaxed a good amount. You know, it's a difference in Danny and Paul, isn't it? Well, I did before, but this year he seems to be really chilled and enjoying it. And I've been listening to like, Earwigging in all his interviews, and he's saying totally different things to what he used to. And it's all really good, so let's hope. He definitely is more relaxed than usual. Cool. Yeah. Logistics, mate. Don't, logistics. Don't, don't bother me while I'm doing logistics. <laughs> Danny likes say, tidying the back up and planning leaving before his race end every single time. Does he? It's really weird, but that's what he does, yeah. What kind of logistics? Organising Fraser Britain to be on the Channel Tunnel with us and I need his passport information. What do you think that is? Keep his mind off things. Yeah. Yeah, and then I clean it. That's what we do. Do you get get nervous at all? Um, I will do. About half an hour before he's about to ride down the hill. Yeah, five minutes before I'll probably go over to the finish and just make sure I can see the TV and the time, which is difficult for me because I'm so short and people are always in my way. <laughs> Danny's up next. Feel sick. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Pardon? Fingers crossed. They are. Come on, Danny. Alright. <laughs> Keep it up! <laughs> the 
again, it's not what we wanted, but it's um, oh, not what I wanted, and probably not what other people want. But uh, going in the right direction, I had a couple of made a couple of mistakes in my run, and can't make them mistakes at this level. So obviously, I have the speed. My time in qualifying was really good, and just messed up a little bit in the race run, which I need to figure that out. It's going to be good when you do win, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> God, it'll be crazy I think.